What's up, y'all? Welcome back to The Sully Show. So today, we are doing a beverage slash product review for you. So the beverage of the day is Maker's Mark Whiskey. Um, if you don't know about Maker's Mark, kind of weird, but it's a Kentucky made, 45% alcohol, pretty good stuff, pretty high quality stuff. It's a, uh, you know, like top shelf, more expensive, uh, whiskey, but it is very good. Would recommend trying some out if you haven't and you have a taste for, you know, the final whiskeys of life. And the product of the day. Not that, you know, we do a product every day, obviously. But, you know, whatever. The product of the day is the Bourbon Bullet. Let me, let me see. If, yeah, right there. There you can see it. So, basically, what this is, you can see it. Looks like a bullet. You know, a bullet looking. Um, but it's three bullets. One's made out of maple, one's made out of oak, and one is made out of cherry. And essentially, you drop one of the bullets um, into your bottle of whiskey, and it's supposed to, depending on if you use maple, oak, or cherry, it's supposed to kind of, like, bring out the flavors that are already in the whiskey a little bit, along with add a few new, like, hints or notes in there. Um, something like that. It's almost kind of like, you know, you it's still whiskey in a barrel to get, the certain taste out of it you want. So this is almost like putting a little piece of a barrel back in there to like kind of let it sit a little bit longer. Um, so on the directions, oh, and on the website they say like, you know, use the maple for these whiskeys, oak for these whiskeys, cherry for these whiskeys. Um, I think they have like one vodka on there. But I'll show you this real quick. Hopefully y'all, yeah, y'all can see it sitting right in there. That's the bullet. It says, uh, you put it in there and you let it sit for as many days as you'd like, depending on, you know, how strong you want to change the whiskey or, you know, how you want your whiskey to taste. It says normally three to four days is kind of where it seems to be at, but they recommend tasting it every day. So that's what we're going to do. This is day one. I dropped it in there yesterday. Um, so it's been sitting in there for about 24 hours. So we have one glass here of straight Maker's Mark. I poured it out of the bottle before I put the little bullet in. So this is just plain old Maker's Mark. And then our other glass over here is with the, um, is with 24 hours of the whiskey bullet being in there. So we're gonna see if we can notice a uh, taste difference in the first 24 hours here. So regular, let's give it a try real quick. Pretty good. You, it, I definitely say you get like a, a lot of the barrel taste, I guess. Like you can really taste like the wood in it. It's got like a, like a smoky, nutty wood flavor to it, I guess you could say. Um, just, you know, regular Maker's Mark. It's very smooth. Um, very, very good. But you definitely, I say the main hint there is like a, or the main note, the main flavor is that nutty oaky or nutty woody smoky kind of taste and everything so let's now go with the bullet infused bourbon it's slightly different i don't know i would say it's almost less hang on hang on hang on good i would say it's still it's not much different at all um it's very similar i mean also, it's also been in there for 24 hours they recommend like three days so we still have a lot of time before you know the recommended change um so i mean little difference i would say just like a like slightly less uh like i guess like the the wood the profiles of that woody taste come out a little bit more if that makes sense so it's Okay, guys, so I am back now. Uh, this is a 48-hour mark, so it's been in there for two days. Um, I feel like at this point, you should see some big changes. It says three days. Um, it, it normally takes. So I feel like, you know, two-day mark, I feel like we should see some big change. So we got our... Uh, I'm doing the same thing I did last time. Regular maker's mark, straight out of the bottle. Nothing different. And then our uh, maker's mark with the 
uh, bullet bourbon in there. Um, first one, Maker's Mark. Nothing, nothing special. Just Maker's Mark right out the bottle. Nothing in it. Set that baseline again. Get that, you know, get that base. So this is what Maker's Mark normally tastes like. Again, same thing. Nothing has changed since last time. So now let's try our bowl of bourbon Maker's Mark. Hmm. There's definitely a difference there. Put that bullet bourbon in there. I would say it brings out um like a little bit more than like what you would get with without it. So I wouldn't say I mean, you know, again, it's only been two days. This could change, but it doesn't change the flavor of it at all. It definitely doesn't ruin it. It more just enhances what's already there and uh, makes the makes the flavors that you might not have been able to taste before. You got like a small hint of, but you couldn't, you know, quite like really know like what is that. It kind of just like pronounces all those extra little things in there, makes the flavor stand out a little bit more, make them a little bit more bold, a little bit better. Um, with it in there, you just get, you know, a little bit more of that barrel taste, I guess, like a little bit more of the the wood and the flavor that comes out in the wood. Day three, y'all. It is now the third day that the bullet bourbon has been sitting in our maker's mark. So again, same thing as we did the past two days. We're gonna go, gonna go ahead and try regular and uh, with the stuff. So let's go ahead and just hop on in regular. Tastes like it has in the past, so let's go ahead and try the bowl of bourbon, see if we notice anything. Definitely, day three, you definitely notice. I think, I don't know, I think we're gonna leave it in there for one more day, just to kinda, just to kinda see. Cause it, it really does, I don't wanna say it necessarily makes the whiskey better, but, it definitely changes it for sure. It doesn't change it for the worse. It just makes it different. I wouldn't say it's necessarily a ton better. You know, maybe you already like Maker's Mark and you don't want to mess with it. Um, you know, whatever, that's fine. But this stuff definitely adds flavor to the whiskey, I guess I'll say. Um, it definitely, definitely adds that flavor. You get that nice, hang on. You get that nice barrel flavor. I would definitely recommend trying them out. They're interesting. They're kind of cool. You know, it adds that something, you know, sometimes like I, I always like, you know, going to the store and picking up, you know, what I normally like, like my Jamie sink, that's what I normally drink. Um, picking up that and then picking up something a little different, but sometimes, you know, you, you don't know what else you want. You, you know, it's kind of expensive to pick up a new bottle every time you go or like whatever. So, I mean, you can have some fun and with what you already like or, you know, something different. And it's it's a way to change up your normal drink, you know? It's kind of neat. It's fun to try. Um, it definitely, it's definitely not going to ruin your whiskey. You don't be worried about like, oh, no, I don't want to buy this and just gets destroyed. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't make it bad at all. Um, it really does just bring out some flavors. I'm going to go on and leave it for four days since I was, you know, I figured day three it might be like, oh, wow, like. That's a big change. And it definitely is a pretty big change. Um, I'm kind of interested to see what four days does. Um, we probably won't leave it in. We won't leave it in there for longer than four days. Just because I don't want to, you know, go too weird with it or anything. Um, but we'll see what four days does. See if uh, we notice anything there. Fourth and final day for our Maker's Mark Bullet Bourbon. Bourbon Bullet. Um whiskey experiment extravaganza sounds pretty good so fourth day same thing as the past two days just gonna try them out see how it happens and, uh, we will see
yeah, big change. Pretty big change. Again, I mean, pretty much the same thing as I said on all the other days. It really just adds a little bit more of that barrel, barrel aged flavor to it. Um, it's really good. I feel like it, I, I, I'm happy I went four days. I feel like day three, it was harsh. It was like a little bit more harsh. Um, and then day four, it smoothed it out a little bit. Um, I could be going crazy. It could be, you know, I had it on ice a little bit longer today than I did yesterday, whatever. But I definitely feel like it's, it's, I definitely want that fourth day is necessary to kind of like bring all the flavors in and then settle the flavors. Cause I feel like day one, two, and three, a bunch of flavors are being added, especially that day three, like a lot of flavors are being thrown in there. But they're not like settled in, if that makes sense. You know, they're not like, like they're all like, you know, peak of the flavor line, whatever, peak of the flavor chart. So that fourth day, it kind of seems like it like mellows it out, you know, like adjusts all the flavors, everything like that, um, gets it set just right, just how you want it. Um, it's, it's very, very good. Regular Maker's Mark is obviously good. But that definitely is, it definitely adds a nice little, uh, nice little barrel, actual little barrel finish in there that, uh, is fairly enjoyable. But, uh, well, I hope you all enjoyed this, uh, this little four day experiment. I, I definitely thought it was fun. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope, uh, y'all go get yourself some. You gotta try them out. They're, uh, they're really neat. I mean, at the very least, it's something different. You know, it's something interesting. Something you can try. But I will uh, see you next time. Every Tuesday and Thursday, video drops. Don't forget to subscribe to uh, help me out. And I will see you then. Cheers.